what do you guys think about that? Do you think that this is legit? Do you think that these really go for this much money? Hey, Polo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, in this video, we are going to talk about a category, and the category is Nickelodeon. Nickelodeon brand, what to look for, what sells for big money, specifically in the toy section. All right, some of these I think are going to surprise you. Let's get started here. The first one is a Burger King toy from 2009. It's a kaleidoscope. It's a blimp. It's from Burger King. Look, you look inside of it, kaleidoscope. How cool is that? This thing is a bolo. It's crossed through. We're going to copy this. Product research. And we're going to see what is going on here. It looks like they took a best offer of $34 on that. Yep, $34. Still a great bolo for a Burger King toy. And here we go. Kaleidoscope. $43.99, $36, $39.95, $30, $20, $25, $30, $35, $40, $45, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $200, $300, $400, $500, $600, $700, $800, $1,000, $1,000, $1,000, $1,
Check them out. That one's only $12.99, but look at the shipping. I don't understand that. You know, a long time ago, um, I've been on eBay a long time. What people used to do is they would charge a dollar for the item and then they would charge $100 for the shipping because eBay used to only charge us fees based on the sold price, not on the shipping. So because so many people were abusing that system and putting really high shipping on their items and charging a dollar for the item to avoid fees, eBay now charges on the total. So I'm pretty sure that's why eBay changed it. I mean, I guess I don't have that in writing, but I mean, I know people were really, really upset when eBay made that decision to charge fees on the total, including taxes and shipping. But again, people abused the system and eBay wasn't getting their fair share. So they had to do it. That's my opinion. Again, I've never seen that in writing. That's just kind of how things transpired and what I noticed from being a reseller, what I saw people doing, and then that change was made. So um, sometimes when people do things like that, it ends up hurting everyone in the long run. All right. This is 1995, ah, Real Monsters, Ickis Plush, Nickelodeon Viacom International. I've never heard of this guy. This is what he looks like. I don't know if that's supposed to be on his ears or not. I think it is. Now, again, $80 marked through. Here are the ones that sold on Terapeak when I looked it up. So we've got $110, $59.99, and $79.99. But I just looked this up in general because I'm not really familiar with this cartoon. I guess it's Real Monsters. Ah, Real Monsters. So here are some different high solds, some things to be on the lookout for. Again, this is not one I knew about. So hopefully this will help you in your future endeavors of searching for bolo items. It looks like there's figurines and plush and lots of different things that can go for big money in this uh, cartoon category. This is a Nick and Nerf orange brain ball football. It's by Kenner, Nickelodeon, rare. There it is on the bottom. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that this is legit? Do you think that these really go for this much money? I mean, seriously? They do. Look, in the original packaging, 175. And then here are some more sold comps. Here's there. Rugrats, 1997 Rugrats, all of these little figures. So they probably could have parted this out. Would they have made more money? I don't know. Maybe. Let's see what it actually sold for. It actually sold for $85. This one sold for $14.88. I'm guessing maybe they just priced it too low. Uh, a lot of times people don't do their research and they just price things too low. And that could have been what happened here. This one sold for $50. This is a much bigger lot, so maybe these weren't as desirable. I'm not really sure. But if you see Rugrats, definitely look them up. And you can see here that they got feedback, positive feedback. This is a vintage 1990s Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon Amazing Flash Screen with screen and flasher reader. So I'm not exactly sure what the screen does or what the reader does but this is a bolo. And even if you just find this, that is a bolo also. Here it is, $42.99 just for that. And you can see positive feedback left. SpongeBob 2005 36 inch plush. If you can find the big guys, a lot of times they're a bolo. $89.99, buyer paid shipping. And that was a good sale. Dora. Now, this is a Nickelodeon show, and this person decided to 
lot all of these up together and sell them as one big bundle, which is always an option. So either somebody that loves Dora or somebody that is maybe going to part this out and resell it bought this. And this sold for a best offer of $125. There was also another lot of 22 pounds, different items that sold for 60. So I'm going to say probably what was in this lot was better than what was in this lot. So it could make a difference on which actual figures you have. And there's your feedback. This is a 2002 Invader Zim Gur Dog Cuddle Pillow, 19 inches by Hot Topic. And right here on the tag, you can see where it says Nickelodeon. This one actually got feedback, but it sold for $250. And that concludes the Nickelodeon video. Gak splat? What? A Nerf foot and brain? What? Uh, definitely things that I may have walked past. Let me know in the comments which one you thought was the weirdest bolo or the most surprising. I knew about Bear in the Big Blue House. I actually have him and the little guy down in the basement, in my money pile, in a tote somewhere that I got at a garage sale that I still need to list. So tell me about your money pile. Are any of these items in your money pile? Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and check out another Bolo video. Thanks for watching.